Hi everyone, welcome to another quick tip video for assignmentsystamp.com. Today I'm going to be showing you partial embossing and die cutting. Um, I've shown you some selective embossing in the past where you create your own diffuser. I'll link to that up here in the corner. But this one's going to be a little bit different in that it's very, very simple and you don't need to create anything extra like a diffuser or anything like that. So I have my uh, big shot here and I have it open to no tabs because I'm going to show you embossing first. I have one cutting plate down. And I'm going to take my piece of cardstock over here, if I can grab it. Here's my cardstock and my embossing folder. And I'm only going to emboss this little top portion. So I'll just stick it in here like this. All right, and I'm going to hold this with a little bit of washi tape. Um, I have a ton of washi tape, and just using a little tiny one-inch strip isn't going to harm my stash at all, but you could also use like a masking tape or anything like that um, just to hold it in place and you don't want it to be a permanent um, stickiness or anything like that. <clears throat> okay, so where it's hanging out of the embossing folder, it will not emboss. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through. All right. And I can pull this off. And now I have embossing only on that one side. You can see that has a nice clean edge. So that's one way that you can partial emboss. And I'm going to show you how you can partial die cut in a different way. All right, I have uh, both tabs down, so I'm gonna use a wafer thin die. And I've got my cardstock here. Okay, there are two ways to do this. The first way is to do it exactly how I did the embossing folder, which is have it hang off the edge like that. But let's say you want this half circle in the center of your card. That would be really hard to figure out how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is, once again, I'm going to use just a little bit of washi tape just to hold it in place. And I'll just have it right up here just to hold that in place right there. And now when I put my cutting pads together to create my sandwich, I'm going to have the project or the die sticking out the side. And wherever there's not enough pressure, like wherever it's sticking out, it will not cut. All right, now I'm gonna feed it through this direction so that I don't have to deal with all the thickness on the one end. All right, so now I can come and take this die off, and now I have just half a circle. This is a really fun thing to do when you need to have um, a slightly larger die cut. You can die cut just half, move the die cut down, and turn it around, and cut the other half, something like that. Hope that gave you guys an idea of how you can use this on your projects. Uh, watch for upcoming videos where I'll use the same technique, and you'll be able to see some examples of how to use it in your own projects. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.